Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another, another week. Another week has gone by, another video to do. Um, yeah, it's going to slow down for a couple of weeks, I think, just until I can get some shelving in here, as I've stated. But uh, I've been pretty busy in here. I started going through some things, um, started organizing some figures, so it's a little bit of a mess with stuff everywhere, just trying to split things up. Um, kind of almost at that decision where it's like, I'm just going to wait until the shelves are here. Um, and I can start displaying stuff straight away. Otherwise, I'm going to spend a lot of time double handling. Um, so I'm just going to hopefully do that and just take my time. But being able to sort of go through things um, and, and do it this way has been good so far. It's been actually quite therapeutic. So last week, not long after I did my video, my vlog video, I picked up another bookcase. Um, this was pretty much, pretty much the same as these, the Billy, Billy case. Um, which is which is really nice, um, and it only cost me ten bucks. All I had to do was drive probably ten minutes out of my way to go pick it up, so I was very excited. It meant I could get some of the figures out. Um, whether they're going to stay there, I've not yet decided. It's it's a good home for now for some of this stuff. Um, originally, my idea was that a cabinet there in the corner would be for all my. Um, DC multiverse stuff, which, you know, it's it's quite dark down here in the corner. I have got a, um, I did put in a brighter light globe in uh, over the weekend, but it's, uh, I think I'm going to change the fitting over and get something with like four directional lights just to light up the room a little bit more evenly throughout all the corners. So if I've got, you know, a four-way light fitting, I can go corner, 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 corner. Um... So basically what I've done is I've got my vintage Vader carry case and um, yeah, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back vintage, Return of the Jedi, and then down a couple of shelves for Power of the Force, which I do need to record a couple of videos this evening for this week. And down the bottom I have my toy box and Disney, or Disney toy box and Galactic Heroes. Still not sure about those figures. I don't know whether I'm going to hold on to them. Um, there are a few there that I'm going to hang on to, but I'm not sure whether to move them on. Just in an effort to focus a bit more on the Black Series and Vintage stuff. Um, and that's just a box of rubbish. So it's just been nice to have a little spot rather than just having it scattered all over the room. So, um, yeah, what have I done over here? So, I had to condense some stuff down over here. Um, I wanted to empty up a shelf over here. So, I put all my folders and stuff down the bottom. Um, and then condensed all my media onto three shelves instead of four. So, then I could have my Darth Vader tribute. And again, this is why the lighting needs to improve in here. Because it's, it's really dark. Like, I can see it fine. But the camera's probably not going to pick that up very well. Um, but yeah, that, it's cool to get all the Vader stuff out and have my little Vader shrine. Uh, set these, these guys up. My movie realization, Tamashi Nations figures, SH figure arts. We've only got five of them now, which is easy to manage. So probably not going to go down that route again. Uh, my retros. So just a new hope, Kenobi and the two seasons of Mandalorian. I'll probably continue on with them, um, you know, if I can get them cheap enough. But um, yeah, I've been able to find some Lego sets I didn't know I, I forgot I had, such as the armor I forged there now. So that was cool, I was glad to find that. And yeah, the reason why I wanted to free up a shelf here was because I wanted a shelf for like Galaxy's Edge. I know I haven't been there yet. I've been to Disney World and Disneyland. And was completely blown away by both experiences. So I've sort of collected some pins, um, some Disney related memorabilia. We've got the Galaxy's Edge cookbook and the travel guide. And so yeah, I've sort of kept that as a, like a little bit of a little bit of a Disney Galaxy's Edge shrine, I guess. I do have the the, the Lego transport ship there with Vi Marathi and the um, Mon Calamari pilot so but yeah it's all starting 
to, to sort of just, you know, I've got a bunch of Black Series figures there. I've got some tucked in there. I've got some on the floor. Finally, after like a year and a half, or a year, whenever that mold came out, I finally got more of Ahsoka together. Some Clone Wars figures. Um, yeah, started sort of pilfering through these boxes, just trying to organize things, and that's when I kind of decided, no, nah, I'm just going to end up double handling everything, so I'm probably going to just close the lids, stack them nicely, so that way that all that space there in that corner is um, ready to go for shelving. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, did put together all the Mandalorian stuff. So they're all going to be sort of displayed around the Razor Crest, and I've got the Navarro Cantina in a box here, as well as some other diorama stuff. I know you can't really see it, but yeah, it's 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 working. It's working. It's happening. It's slow. It's <laughs> just hanging out to be able to get those um those big shelves for for the wall. Um, yeah, sort of getting getting things out. The Boba Fett Shrine, I think I had done that last week. Unfortunately, my Slave 1 has had a one of the guns go missing. Um, I know I haven't thrown it out. It's it's just got to be in a tub somewhere. <laughs> but it's, it's just a little bit annoying that it's, that it's not where it should be, which is attached, obviously. It's just... Um, bumped off through transit over the last 18 months somewhere um, and it's just ended up in another tub um, yeah in between everything moving around in here it's uh, it's bound to show up so I'm not too I'm not too worried but yeah it's nice to have another set of shelves there in the doorway again this this big tub down here that's all full of carded stuff so that's all that's all stuff that eventually will go on display um, with these shelves and the shelves, you know, the shelves that I'm getting are actually going to be about as high as the door. So I'm going to have some nice space up there to put some hooks up and um, display some artwork. So that's going to be cool. And yeah, just just getting through some bits and pieces, still just doing some filming and reviews. Um, hoping to have a bit of a live stream happening next week at a different time, so I can get some folks from other side of the other side of the world, other areas of the planet, because <laughs> you know I normally do them on. Um, Saturday night, um, which doesn't really link well with the US. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do a couple of live streams next week. I do have a week off, so I'm partially sort of hoping that the funds sort of clear that I'm expecting in order to at least make a start on that. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, get that whole wall full of figures. It's going to be really, really cool. I can't wait. And my, my intention is to incorporate all these vehicles into those displays as well. So X-Wings, ATSTs, all of them, they're going to be integrated. That Slave 1, maybe. Not sure. But, you know, I've got enough sort of displays. Like I've got the Carbon Freeze Chamber. I've got the Geonosis Arena. So there's going to be some big pieces in there. Um... Still needing to find a set of wings for that bad boy. I may end up just buying another one. But, you know, I bought that for next to nothing a couple of years ago. Uh, didn't come with the wings. If it focused, it would be better. But, yeah, speaking of not focusing, I um, have had some help from a friend in regards to camera equipment and lighting. Um, so that's another thing that's on my shopping list. Uh, in order to take my take my videos to the next level, which is something I'm really looking forward to, um, just improving, improving, improving. Um, that's something I really I've been doing this for nearly 12 years, um, and I think it's high time that I treat myself to a to a decent camera as opposed to relying on phones and and whatever cameras I have laying around the house. Um, and some good lighting, good lighting rig. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to, you know, do something a little bit different. Take take my YouTube channel. I'm not going to do, do. I don't want to go professional. That's that's not my that's not my intent. I still want to have fun with this with this hobby here in my Star Wars room. Um, still going to be me. You know, I just 
I feel like I've, I've earned it. I feel like I've earned a little bit of better quality stuff um, as opposed to just making do. But um, yeah, that's a nice quick one for you this week, guys. Um, yeah, if anything else sort of happens in the next week or two, I'll be sure to upload a uh, an update. But for today, just a little pan around because it's uh, always nice to go back to these videos. It will be nice, you know, in a number of years to go back and see this as a sort of a historical document of my Star Wars collection. Um, and it's always fun. Every now and then I'll sort of go back to an old collection video and see what's happened over the years. So it's it's good fun. It is really good fun. That's That's why I do it. So anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are. Any recommendations, any ideas, I'd love to hear them. And uh, yeah, may the force be with you all.